Has Lady Luck blessed you with a sudden surplus of serious money lately? Maybe you got that substantial increase at work or maybe you were briefly reappointed as the boss of a national energy corporation. Well, keep watching because we are about to present a product befitting the big spenders who have a preference for the BMW Motorsport Performance sub-brand. Allow us to introduce your Randellas to the M760 Li X-Drive, which takes the very top spot in the 7 Series pecking order. And they describe it as an offering that combines captivating performance and supreme comfort. But maybe the wordsmiths at the manufacturer were having a blue Monday, because when you look at those numbers, the descriptor seems like an understatement at best. Beneath that lengthy, intimidating prow lays a 6.5-litre V12 engine with an output of 448 kilowatts and 800 newton meters of torque. And it probably emits as much CO2 as that electricity parastatal you may or may not be responsible for. Fuel economy, not that one might care, but BMW claims a figure of 12.6 litres per 100 kilometres. Expect consumption to be a little more um, conspicuous if you use it for its intended application, which is performance, of course. The big BMW will dash to 100 kilometers an hour in 3.7 seconds. Top speed is pegged at 250 kilometers an hour, but pay a little extra for the M driver's package and you could see as much as 305 kilometers an hour. Road shredding stuff indeed. Blue lights are not standard. So Jeeves, pull over so I can sample this beast. All-wheel drive helps this range-topping 7 Series apply its grunt to the bitumen effectively, hence the X-Drive moniker in the title. The system is rear-biased, however, which ought to help you get a little shimmy from the tail for added theatrics when you pull into the office parking lot. Not that we endorse such. BMW has endowed the car with what they call Integral Active Steering, basically four-wheel steering to you and I. And that promises to make navigating through the cityscapes a little easier or the racetrack if you're so inclined and we are so inclined this morning at Aldo Scribante in the Eastern Cape. You might remember a few weeks back my colleague Tasman Pepper drove a 740E around Swatcorp's raceway and it was quite a comical sight seeing something so hefty being chucked around the circuit. But the BMW 7 Series is just dynamically gifted. It is fantastic to drive and it doesn't feel like the heffalump that it is, especially when you've got a 12-cylinder engine underfoot. And boy, does it sound amazing. All right, we can confirm with confidence that the BMW M760 Ally X-Drive is a hoot to pilot. But perhaps this is no surprise. After all, the 7 Series does have sporting heritage in its lineage. Remember icons such as the 733i or the 745i of the same generation that was known for its success in the South African National Group 1 Championship. Now, wouldn't it be great to get a seat in one of those? Well, at Ignition TV, we aim to please, and for your viewing pleasure, we managed to secure some time with a unit of the 745i Winfield race car. It is now owned by Paolo Cavalieri, who has graciously agreed to a lap and a chat. Paolo, talk us through the official history of this big BMW's foray in motorsport locally. I always say that competition raises the game and, uh, and BMW proves that. Probably the most famous of all the BMW South African drivers, uh, Tony Viana, legendary, uh, the father of the 325 Shadowline, the 325 IS. We started our career with BMW together. Uh, his was an amazing career, mine much less so and he won numerous titles with the 535 firstly uh, in Group 1 racing which was uh, probably the uh, championship of the day. This was a golden era of motorsport in this country and the ultimate of the Group 1 BMWs was this car here, the 745. And in 1985, the last year of Group 1 racing, Tony won the championship. The BMW bosses said, okay you can go and race this car but not particularly happy that a 7 series would be on the racetrack this is the only 7 series in the world apart from the modified that we have too that ever raced with the formal approval of the factory 
What was its competition on the track during that time? The reason why Tony went with the 745 is that it was the only car that had the M88 engine with the 24 valve that was produced by, by BMW and therefore eligible for homologation. He needed the power because he was up against the Sierra XR8 that's a V8 inside a Sierra, which Ford homologated to win here. And then Alfa Romeo also went and did their thing. And those two cars were the main opposition, the Mazda RX-7 as well. But Tony beat them all with this. What's it like to drive? It's fantastic to drive. It's quite long, so it's quite forgiving. It's quite tail happy. It's tail happy because we're racing on, have to race on standard rims. We've kept the car original to the original rules. So that there's a lot of power in this car. It's a bit of a handful, but frankly, it's also very nimble. It stops well. It's an adventure to drive this car and I love it. The delight is not yet over if you're a BMW Motorsport fanboy or girl, as we have another special offering to show you before the segment ends. Remember the BMW M4 GTS launched in 2016? Now imagine it with less flamboyant livery and you have this, the M4 DTM Champion Edition. Only 200 units were built in commemoration of BMW Motorsport Works driver Marco Wittmann's victory in the 2016 DTM series. Like the GTS, it's got an output of 368 kilowatts and 600 newton meters of torque. It'll sprint to 100 kilometers an hour in 3.8 seconds, just a little slower than that monstrous M760 Li X drive. The biggest difference when compared to the GTS is the paint, of course. This wears an alpine white shade with the distinctive BMW Motorsport trio of stripes thrown in for good measure. The interior is sparse and clearly geared towards those hardcore enthusiasts with the inventories of embadged items of clothing. That it is standard with Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 semi-slick tyres is a good indication of its sporting agendas. You also get carbon ceramic brakes and a mechanically adjustable coilover suspension. The focused nature of the DTM is most apparent when driven back to back with the regular variants of the M3 and M4. They almost feel blunt and stodgy by comparison. Only 15 of these were allocated to the South African market and they're all spoken for. It's a bona fide collector's model and I really, really don't want to get out of it. So there you have it folks, a rather interesting proposal from BMW Motorsport if you've got a two-car fantasy garage that needs to be filled. The luxurious and ludicrously fast BMW M760 Li xDrive and a hugely entertaining BMW M4 DTM Champion Edition. Both certainly poised to continue the legacies of legends like this.